Hello, hope that you are very well and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through the Bitcoin chart here, the short squeeze that's underway and where I'm really looking to take this, okay? I, uh, yeah, let's just get straight into analysis. Let's keep this technical, let's keep this unbiased and, uh, you know, go through some support and resistances. Um, so you're going to notice actually, um, you know, yesterday we were talking about this short squeeze potential, you know, I really thought that we would get the push up here. Why, why was that? Well, firstly, yeah, we're getting a move up now and everybody, you know, guess what? 2%, everybody starts switching bullish again. But this is the thing, you know, we're thinking ahead of the crowd, 5D chess. We're always thinking about the next move. And also we're not only thinking about our moves, but the moves of our opponents. Because for us to win money, we naturally have to take it off of our opponents. So we, you know, back on the 16th of June, sorry, 16th of July, you bounced off of that 9,065, which for me has been a very, very important level for a very long time. So we come down to 9,065, the majority turn extremely bearish, and those that are bearish do not listen to reason, do not listen to technical analysis, and just are very comfortable thinking in their short positions, you know, I'm in a short here, Bitcoin's going to break down, you know, that's obviously not how you trade. So what happens here, we hit 9,065, we get an original bounce off of that, Okay, which was really, really nice. Okay, this was all starting off of the 9,030 bounce. And should I show you this now? Yeah, you know, you want to see some magic, then here you go. Uh, this was obviously the 9,030, which was caught to the, the exact dollar low. And have a guess what we just bounced off now. We bounced off of 9,390, which was the exact dollar high. This is naked point of control low to the naked point of control high. The exact range okay and these are not levels that i'm just giving now these are levels that i've given to my group all in advance that was the naked point of control and that's the higher naked point of control okay so from here we obviously you know we come down to that low and guess what everybody turns really bearish what happens when everybody turns really bearish well you're gonna, you're gonna get this short squeeze again the context is really important what was the context here well we come down to support on Bitcoin especially, it's just crazy. Everybody turning really bearish. And then the context here for me anyway was the fact that the stock market was really bullish. If you followed me long enough, you know I've been a very, very, very big stock market bull for a very long time now, okay? Even when we were dropping down very, very heavily to, to that 3,000 points. Remained bullish. I still I always thought that we'd come back above this monthly. And guess what? That's what, what we managed to do last night. Get back above that monthly level. For me, it was only a matter of time, not if. And so we breached that, we breached that monthly level. And what was the icing cherry on the cake of this that we were breaching the monthly uh, while Bitcoin was actually pulling back? And I will tell you this, that I did short that pullback yesterday. So I was shorting this pullback, but overnight I managed to go into a stock market position, which basically switches my short into a long position and, you know, managed to capture that move to the upside. So that is really nice trading. So now we are facing back up at a high. So I would like to see something like this, another move to the upside and then a pullback and then back you know, go back through the level. I'm interested in 9,425 next, okay? But I'm naturally expecting higher prices here. But again, if I see any signs of weakness, then I'll uh, of course, I'll switch my longs into shorts. You know, trading the charts, no bias. Couldn't really care where this goes. So, um, you know, that's my perspective. And, uh, you know, what are some insights that you could get from here? Well, obviously, you know, this is the thing. We, we literally hit, just hit that, that naked point of control to the dollar. You're bouncing off of that. You can see here in the second layer order book, um, well, we're not really seeing so much information off of this at the moment in time. You can just see it's fairly stacked. Uh, a lot of pulling on the bid uh, on the ask side. So, yeah, looks like we can get another push up here, if I'm honest. There's no bearish signs on that, uh, which is nice. You know, that's nice for me. So, um, yeah, obviously, then what could we be saying for the next level? Well, we do have a little bit of bearish CVD divergences. But in my opinion, it's not enough to hold us down for so long. And... Uh, yeah, let's get that short squeeze underway. Um, <laughs> I suppose I'll give you the insights. You know, this is the thing that, um, yeah, I guess 21st of July. So I just had to go and manage that position. We hit the high of 9,420. So $5 off the next level I was waiting for. I have taken a little bit of profit here, but it's still looking nice. I'm going to try and wrap this up uh, pretty quickly here because I do want to get back uh, to trade this updated group. So yeah, basically, um, you know, 21st of July. 21st of July was the Fibonacci time day. What do we say? Fibonacci time is love. Fibonacci time is life. 21st of July. Are you surprised that we got to move on the 21st of July? Obviously, that was actually meant to be quiet. That was not ever meant to be released. But, you know, it kind of got taken out of my mouth. But we were waiting for that 21st of July. And you can see that's the day that we had the reaction. So pff, Fibonacci time, just amazing. Um, you know, final words here that I would wrap up with is, um, you know, you don't need to jump in front of these like moves like this uh you know this is for me that's the next take profit that i've taken you know what will i be looking for well uh, you know at the moment i have to say i'm still expecting higher prices we saw a little bit of a pullback but nothing massive i will trade the chart for what it is i must say i'm expecting higher prices at the moment but as soon as we see some signs of weakness you know what i'll switch into a short position but at the moment 
that's not happened. Um, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba you know, exactly what I was saying to my group earlier that I still think that we get, a, you know, a trend day. A trend day is, is moving upwards, obviously. Um, you know, wasn't interested in taking any of those shorts and, uh, yeah, obviously that was a that was a nice entry yesterday, but it's not just me, by the way, that got that entry. You know, we were ready for that short squeeze, and you know, so also members getting really nice entries as well. As I've always said, shout out to the legend that is Eagle, by the way. He's such a good trader. Uh, Steve with some nice entries, but you know, it's it's going well, it's going nice, and um, obviously you might be like, why is Daniel over on Instagram? This is something that you know I've been posting about altcoins and all that good stuff over on Instagram, but this was the story that I posted a few days ago. This is like a retweet, basically. But, you know, when everyone was so bearish down at those loads, wasn't it more likely that we were going to push up from here? The harmonic's still in play. The harmonic's still in play now. I'm still after this harmonic. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you know, this is this is the section that I want to highlight on. You know, while 95% of the market has been sleeping over the last month, they're just so bored of the Bitcoin market, still trading. We, we're still trading the Bitcoin market every single day, still absolutely crushing it. So, you know, um, stay on your toes. I suppose, uh, I think I mentioned the harmonic in here as well this morning. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, my harmonic's still in play. This is obviously expecting higher prices harmonic. I, the reason why I don't want to cover this harmonic in this public video is because it's a little bit too um, perfect, I suppose. I'll, I'll show you this harmonic once it's actually played out. Okay, so once we've had the harmonic play out, I will show you this one. But I don't want to give it away publicly because, yeah, it's a little bit too good to give away, <laughs> to be honest. So, um, you know, I'm still after that. Uh, the group knows what harmonic is. But, yeah, basically... Final words, I suppose, to wrap up here. We got, uh, we obviously have now got through that naked point of control slightly to our next level, 9425. Well, 9420 was the high, by the way, there. 9425 got front run by $5. So this is where you have to be there and reacting. Um, second layer, order book. Yeah, it might get a little bit of a pullback now, but it's not so, it's not so bad, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, these are things that you've got to keep your eye on. And um yeah i suppose that's the quick update that i wanted to give you i don't want to go over and spend too long on this i actually want to get back and trading it i'm going to attach to the end of this video a little uh clip from a funny clip uh, this was a funny clip from the live stream uh talking about the 21st of july to explaining just why fib and actually time's amazing and um yeah it's just a lovely example once again of saying a day and it, and it occurs you know it's very very powerful so i'll attach that clip to the end of this video i've already um got it ready uh final words to wrap up here trade the range until it breaks obviously there are signs that you can be looking at to uh, determine whether the range is going to actually be broken and you can trade the breakouts of the range or whether you're actually seeing absorption at the highs and actually this this range is best to be traded as a range uh currently as, as i've said you know I've only taken profit here. I've not switched into a short, but the things that I'll be looking at are the size such as absorption, such as volume, okay, such as the momentum on this move, okay, is it starting to die out? Um, you know, the short squeeze would, would hopefully, you know, I'd like to see us push up higher than this, if I'm honest. But again, I'll trade the charts. It's not that I really would care so much whether we push up to, to you know, nine, six hundred levels or whether we fall down from here. I, I will happily switch positions, you know. And that's from the charts telling me, not because of any other thing, you know, so I'll, I'll be trading, monitoring the charts and um, yeah, going going like that, really. But that's another take profit hit there. And uh, yeah, been a good day. Has been a very good day. So, um, yeah, cheers, everybody. Hope that you've enjoyed this video. A di bit of a quick one, bit of a just a quick update here. Um <clears throat> I suppose it's just directly carrying on from yesterday's video. We were talking about that short squeeze potential, and here it is occurring on the on the twenty first of uh, of July. So just, I mean, I've said it once, I've said it again. The technicals on this are amazing. You know, you're seeing, you know, f you, once you've worked out that level, and this is the thing, you, you put in the original work. But you know, it can take a long time to do the original technical analysis. But once you've done the original technical analysis, you've worked out those high levels. And then you're seeing, you know, sometimes to the exact dollar, but within ten dollars of a level, just respect, 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 and it's just, it's just, in, it's just so lovely. Like I am just in love with technical analysis, and uh, oh, yeah, that's, that's all I can say. I'm, I'm absolutely in love with it. So um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. Yeah, bit of a quick update. Uh, if I'm honest with you, uh, I'll do a bit more of an in-depth uh, video for you all, uh, maybe Thursday. And uh, until then, I'll catch you around. Hey Daniel, what is the biggest thing you wish you knew when you started trading? Mm. That's a really, really good question. What's the biggest thing I wish I knew when I started trading? What's the biggest thing that I wish I knew when I started trading? 
I wish I knew about Fibonacci, Fibonacci time, because for so long I didn't trade without Fibonacci time. And uh, when I started trading with Fibonacci time, like being able to know like a day when something's, obviously there's never 100%, you know, trading's never 100%. I've, and I've always said this, like don't expect 100% and don't expect certainty in trading. You are trading the game of probabilities. But if I had knew about Fibonacci time when I started trading and knew the power of Fibonacci time, like it would have saved me a lot of time waiting around like yeah Fibonacci time probably that I'd probably say I wish I knew about that when I started trading because that is like amazingly helpful to to know the day when something's gonna move is is just like so invaluable it's just like so amazing so um yeah Fibonacci time probably the number one and really good question it had me it did have me thinking because there's so many different things that i could probably have said there but i'd probably say maybe fibonacci time you can use it for both you can use it for sculpt trading and swing trading but yeah it's much better on well much better is the wrong word but obviously it's easier to use on the sculpt uh, on the swing trades and you've seen how many times i've told you the day that something's going to happen and sometimes to the absolute hour when something's going to happen and you've seen it respected so well like literally in advance i've said this is going to move 4 a.m on the 26th of of april and the thing literally moved at 1 a.m on the 26th of april like you've seen it quite a lot where we've literally na nailed the exact hour like a month in advance where the thing's going to move like it's insanely amazing um really really good is fibonacci time in the chart champions plan yes i have done a video on fibonacci time so yeah we've got that education in in the group um the the fairly um fairly uh what's the word i'm looking for fairly simple yeah just really fairly simple <laughs> um so let's see what else we got in here then um <clears throat> Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, hello, hello, K Dub. Hello, my friend, Andy, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. I hope that you're well. I love your support. When the when moon. Um, let let me ask. You know what? I I literally could go and get my dog and, and bring her up here. But I also um, kind of I'm not gonna do it. But uh, I normally have to ask her. You see, what's when Bitcoin's gonna moon? Um, and I and I suppose I can telepathically ask her. Bitcoin's gonna moon the twenty first of July. Oh my, the twenty first of July. Uh, put that in your dates, everybody. Twenty first of July, we're breaking out. Twenty <laughs> first of July. Wow, how good is that information that you have now? <laughs> um, missing you so much on Twitter. Love from South Africa. 